Hi, welcome back to the assembly of the RepRap Perugia Mendel Iteration 2. In this video, we're going to do the, the belt for the Y-axis and the Y-axis stepper motor. So let's, um, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to set the RepRap on its side for a moment. Or actually, let me go ahead and put it on, on its uh, top there so you can see. I'm going to take the GT2 belt clamps and I'm going to get these started here on the on the bottom of the bed. Now you want to make sure that the grooves for the belt actually go on the bottom like so. And these particular GT2 belt clamps actually have a cavity that which holds the the lock nut. So I'm going to use uh, 14 millimeter bolts. I'll need four of those, and um, I will need uh, four washers for the top side and four lock nuts. So let's see, let's go ahead and get this started. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna run these until they just start to go, they just start to grab onto the uh, to the lock nut. Um, and you might want to use longer bolts for this, um, but uh, I'm going to try to get the 14s to work so I don't have any overhang left. Other side. Yeah, I can see right now that this would be easier with uh, some longer bolts. So four, 14 millimeters probably going to be minimum on this one. These are the M3 bolts. Okay. All right, and then um, next I'm going to go ahead and install the stepper motor. Now for this, this is going to use um, 10 millimeter M3, so I'll need three of those and uh, three washers, three M3 washers. I'm going to mount this so that the wires are actually on the bottom because I'm going to run it back to the side here. I found that uh, if, you know, if you're using fender washers, it's going to be easier if you do the top one first. I don't tighten these all the way until I, until I uh, get them all started. This is typically what I do for just about anything I'm assembling. So now that they're all together, then I can go ahead and tighten them all up. Now that all all the screws are started, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then I'm also going to go ahead and install the uh, aluminum pulley. Now to install this, uh, this pulley has um, two set screws. One which will um, which will actually uh, rest against the flat side of the shaft on the stepper motor, and the other one's just extra support. So make sure that that's lined up. And then you also want to line it up um, this way so that the the center of the pulley matches the center of the bearing. I 
want this nice and tight. Don't tighten it so you break it, but put a lot of pressure on it. You don't want these coming loose. And um, you could also use some Loctite if you wanted to as well. But I've never had any troubles just uh, just hand tightening them with the Allen key. That looks good. Okay, and now it's time to put the belt on. This kit came with uh, came with two belts, one for the uh, Y axis and one for the X axis. But it actually came in one strip, and I had to measure it out and cut it. So. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll do this upside down, so you have a better view. Oh, of course, now with that uh, with that motor on there, it's going to be hard to balance it here. So. All right, so you want to put, um, put the belt for the first side, just uh, slide it under and run the belt to, um, to that hole that we made for the thermostore, and then put some pressure on it and wiggle it around and make sure that the... Uh, but the belt fits into the grooves that are on the plastic part. And then go ahead and tighten it up. Oh, and then also just kind of eyeball it and make sure that the belt is on that center line that we made earlier. And make sure it's kind of straight there. Not super important, but any straightness we can we can make the better. The straighter we can make it the better. and clamp this down pretty good. I like to bring it down until um, the plastic is touching the MDF and then go ahead and tighten it down a little bit more from there too. Doesn't need to be super tight though because those grooves in the plastic that grab onto the belt really hold onto it really, really well. So and that is not coming off there. Okay, then uh, we can go ahead and run it around the, um, around the bearing and then around the, uh, the pulley and run it around the bearing on the other side. Slide it under the belt clamp. You might need to loosen it up. Okay. And this is this is sort of the hard part. I'm gonna move the bed over actually to give me some more room here to work with. Okay. What I do on this part is now there's different ways that you can do this. You could use a tensioner if you wanted to, but I found that this works just fine. Let's go ahead and grab that belt with some pliers. And then um Pull as hard as you can and then press press down on the on the belt clamp with your thumb and then check the tension. I've heard that you don't want the belt to move more than a half an inch when you apply pressure. Um, what what I have found is that um, what you want is um, to try to move the bed while hold on holding on to the pulley. Just make sure that um, that um, the bed can't move without the pulley moving and then you'll know that see I can move the bed just a little bit right there and the pulley did not move so that means it's not tight enough so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the pliers loosen up on the on the clamp pull some more compress it with my thumb uh, I might have just slipped out a little bit. Yeah, I got one more notch on it this time, and it looks pretty good now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up.
another way that you can do this is you know you can tighten it up so it's not super tight but then you can grab then you can take um, three zip ties you take three three zip ties um, put the bed about in the middle here and then take uh, take a zip tie attach it to uh, to about right there and then take another zip tie or you know, about right here actually. Take another zip tie and put it about right there or so, maybe right there. You want to make sure that when the bed moves that, that the zip ties aren't going to hit the um, the bearings on either side or the pull or the pulley on this side. And then when you have the two zip ties on here, like so, then you can take the third zip tie and put them through and tighten it up and it'll uh, it'll make the belt bow which will uh, give the give the belt tension but um, I can see right here that this is going to be strong enough especially with the GT2 so that's going to be plenty good enough okay well that was pretty easy so next up we're going to start um, assembling the z-axis um, and the x-axis and some of the components that go together. I might split that up into a couple of videos because it takes some time to put all that together. But um, anyway, um, stick around and um, we'll, we're, this thing is really starting to come together. <laughs> It'll be done soon, I promise. Thanks for watching.